Hey, ladies and gentlemen from the cockpit, we are going to stop the aircraft just a little bit short of the gate and be towed in. If you could, please remain in your seats with your feet seat belts fastened until we've turned off that seat belt sign. It's very important. Ours going to delay our uh, arrival at the gate. Thank you for your co cooperation. Thank you. Fine power. A young Orlando. Ugandan ah, named Africa Bobby Wine has also, also, also arrived in Uganda to kick out Yoweri Museveni. Emma. I've also arrived in Nigeria today to kick out Muhammad Buhari. We have made it impossible for this country to witness progress. Ah. We are standing today behind a monument of decay. Most of you have seen what happened in Ghana. Ghana just built one of the finest airports in Africa. Uh. And you have seen the pictures circulating around and trending. We are still managing the worst airport on the continent of Africa. Yes, without a new mindset, without new leaders in this country, who can truly drive Nigeria into progress, we are deceiving ourselves. And we cannot allow those who continue to make the excuse that Rome was not built in a day to destroy our future any further. It is true that Rome was not built in a day, but Rome also was never built forever. They finished building Rome one day. But Nigeria consistently, nothing has been done here. Our workers are going home hungry every day. Our students, we do not even have people who can have the kind of conversation that can that I can make Nigeria become a respectable country. You cannot stay overnight in Nigeria that Buhari don't understand how to converse with them. Yes. As bad as that revelation might be, it is the truth. I have been saying it that our leaders don't even know where they are. And they don't know where how the rest of the world is working. Talk less of taking you to where you need to be. You cannot blame them. You cannot build something on nothing. They have no ideas, they can't see the future, and they cannot argue with what they don't know. But we are here, and I'm back, and we'll continue to be back, and we'll continue to make this impression on the rest of the world. Our brothers and sisters, both in Nigeria and the world, that we can actually have a country that is working. And we will make this country work by becoming the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria yes, come so. 2019. So. It, is, it is not a matter of uh, blowing grammar. 
we cannot continue to vote for our ancestors as the president of Nigeria. You cannot have progress when your ancestors are the president of your country. You cannot have progress when the president of the country is older than the country itself. Nigeria is just 58 years old. The president is maybe 90 years old. Nobody knows his age. Our governors are not better. I am also not making an excuse that because I am young, I have a sense of entitlement. I am bringing before you a commitment that has been tested for almost 30 years. I am bringing before you integrity that has been around for another 29 years. I am bringing before you exposure that has lasted another 20 years, traveling around the world and knowing how things work. I'm bringing before you a tested, rugged. <laughs> Not to disrupt in any way activities at the airport. We have a right to do enlightenment anywhere we want. It's our country and it's our fundamental human right. And they understand that now the memo has reached everybody within the leadership of Nigeria. And we understand that crowd is different from crowd. This is organic crowd of young people who really desire change. It's not a higher crowd that you see with APC or you see with PDP, the people deceiving people. So while I'm in town, wherever you may be, please tell your parents, your brothers, your sisters that the change they have been looking for, not the chicken change of 2015, but the revolutionary change we have been waiting for has arrived in Nigeria. Let everybody get the message. Spread the message to every nook and cranny of the country. And by next year, you can all smile once again. I mean, for the first time, maybe in your lifetime. Okay, sir. I want to thank you once again. I want to say, AAC, everyone. I'm not hearing you. I want you to answer me in a way that Asso Rob will be shaking. Okay. AAC, everyone. God bless you.